Hi folks, this is the last of a set of three videos taking you through the mechanics of diagramming perfectly competitive firms operating in perfectly competitive markets. The first video, I took you through the proper diagram of a firm earning an economic or supernormal profit. In the second diagram, I took you through the mechanics involved with analyzing a perfectly competitive firm earning a loss. And today, I'm just going to quickly review a couple of those situations and add one additional situation, and that is the firm operating at such a loss that, that it actually uh, shuts down and it goes out of business, even in the short run. So, once again, we're going to start with our two pane analysis here with uh, the market on the left pane and the firm on the right pane. Notice my diagram of the firm. In this particular case, I've added the average variable cost curve, or the AVC. Remember what variable costs are. We covered those a couple of weeks ago in class. Uh, that's going to become a, a little bit more important uh, later on in this analysis. So let's get started. Let's just take a, an increase in demand in the market, first of all, and uh, an increase in the market price from P to P2, carrying that price over to the firm, which has to take that price at P2 equal D2 equal AR2 equal MR2. Find the profit maximizing rate of output here at Q2. Find the point where that profit maximizing rate of output intersects the average total cost curve for the firm and we see that this particular firm when demand in the market increases from D to D1 is now earning an economic or supernormal profit. This is review. What happens if demand falls to position D2 in the market and the market price drops from P to P3? Again we transfer that price over to our firm firm has to take that price at P3 equal D3 equal AR3 equal MR3. We find the firm's now new profit maximizing rate of output at MC equal MR3 associated with Q3 level of output. Remember we have to take our line up to the average total cost curve now to determine the, the firm's loss, which I've shaded in. Again, this is review. Here's the third case that I wanted to take you through, the one that I uh, alluded to earlier in the video. What happens at this point? This point where the marginal cost curve intersects the firm's average variable cost curve. That point actually has a name. We call it the shutdown point. Uh, below that point, at levels lower than this level of price and, and this level of market price that I've just outlined. Uh, the firm actually should shut down in the short run because it can't even meet its variable costs. Variable costs, remember, are the ones that are directly associated with the firm producing. So if the firm can't meet this cost, these costs, the firm can't produce. And just to illustrate this point, we see the dramatic level of loss here that the firm would be suffering at this point. You can imagine what would happen if prices, market prices dropped below this particular form point the firm should shut down. So I've taken you through then a number of those situations. I strongly encourage you, you folks to practice, practice, practice these graphs. The more practice you get in on analyzing perfectly competitive firms, the easier your analyses of other types of market situations are going to be. I'll see you soon.